Mr. Chair, I am a son of an average Kenyan. I was brought up in a place called Nairobi West in Nairobi. My father and my mother both were civil servants, but averagely uh, we were not very wealthy. I'll give you an example, Mr. Chairman, that during our time, my mother used to decide what time you eat, what you'll eat, and the amount that you'll eat. And I'll give you an example. One day I went to visit one of the wealthy officers who was senior together with my friend. And we saw the children being doing what is called self-service. I had never seen that, Mr. Chair. And the children were saying, don't put more meat on the table because we have enough. Mr. Chair, I noticed that what I was suffering from is not poverty, but another level of poverty, which, uh, as you can see, God has been gracious. I don't reflect what uh, I've been living. Can you tell us what uh, you understand? Or if you are to unbank this term climate change to somebody in Kazondweni, to somebody in Bura, to somebody in um, Kasigawi in Taitsaveta, what is climate change? Thank you. Mr. And what brings about climate change? Before now, we start talking about uh, its effects and mitigation. I've read your CV. Very, very rich. In fact, uh, I was just going to the Google. Look who John, John Kalua Kioli is. And it is very, you know, the way they talk about you, it is um, very encouraging. And uh, I'm just going through your, I will be having some, my only question is I think you asked whether you have ever been in a court of law. And I'm seeing there was a court case of Mwati Kati Kakiti and John Kioli versus Nzei Katiki and something. Well, it's a civil matter. What was it about? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. This is a land issue, and it's a succession issue that uh, I bought some land, the one I've mentioned in Dumoni. And uh, when we went for succession, uh, we found my name is not there because the person who sold the land to me passed on. So it was not me accused but I was there as a, as a petitioner to actually ensure that my name is in succession. IPCC definition of climate change is the change of weather in more than 50 years. That is more than the weather today, is more than the weather yesterday, but it is weather that have, has been recorded for more than 50 years, and that is something that you can call climate change. Mr. Chair, when we talk about environment, there's a very distinct difference between environment and climate change. Climate change is a multidisciplinary approach whereby climate change affects many sectors, including energy, environment, health, and other sectors. And it's one of the initiatives that came up when we were forming the Climate Change Act of 2016. One of the drivers of climate change is actually what we call um, human activities. And one of the key things is emissions through uh, industrial effluent, industrial, um, you know, uh, smoke that comes from the industries, cutting of trees because trees, are again, uh, are, are, are responsible for, again, um, taking away the carbon dioxide and also giving oxygen. The other effects are also in terms of land degradation. And these are some of the areas that are affecting us because of the human being effects which are accelerating already the challenges we have. Specifically known as climate smart agriculture, I would want you, a request, when you go there, mobilize as much resources as you can for this. Because if you have to do what the chair was saying, planting these trees equal in the number of our age, we must do it in a climate smart way where we, we integrate what we are doing to support livelihood at the local community level. And that is the only way we should. Mine is not a question, but something that I would want to put into your heart. Climate smart agriculture. That's where we are failing as a nation, as a county government, and that's where we need to put our resources. Thank you. How do you marry uh, planting of trees and growing of trees? 
together with now what you are calling the climate change. We have talked on us planting trees like your age, 51. I will not say my age because I could also be your age. Um, when we plant trees and grow trees, seriously, like what the Honorable Cameroon is asking is about oh, you marrying it in schools. For example, when we plant, we tell every child plant a tree and we lack water. We don't maintain it. Can you marry between um, the planted, planting of trees, growing of trees, maintaining the trees? I associate myself with your comments, Mr. Chair, about plant your age. We are going to see how we can uh, make it more interesting, more practical, and um, I'll talk to my people about it. Uh, I want to link this with uh, tree growing, tree planting. I think as a country, we had tree planting ceremonies, and uh, sometimes it's a shame when you go there after one year and you don't find anything growing. So, therefore, we are saying, can we change the narrative to tree growing, whereby we can have schools like the students are portioned a tree, not as a punishment, but also like liking it and growing it, so that every year you can identify with a tree, and even when you graduate, you can come and say, this was my tree, not as a punishment, but also as a livelihood which you can see there. And you're saying, let's also plant like fruit trees so that then they can have a meaning to the students. If it's a mango tree, then you can come and uh, even harvest before you finish your class eight. The other thing, Mr. Chairman, is uh, the issue of um, uh, the education sector. I think I totally agree with uh, um, the comments uh, the Honorable Member has put across. I'm a teacher and I'm proud to be a teacher. And I think what has made me what I am is I'm able to communicate, I'm able to integrate, and I'm able to do what a teacher is supposed to do. So it's something that I'm very proud of as of my background and as be able to catapult me to what I am today. Mr. Chair, I want to mention that uh, the climate smart agriculture is very integral. And when you look at issues of orphan crops, uh, the issue of integrating them to now becoming available is also something that is linked to climate change. I think I'm going to put my head up and also to make sure that uh, this is something that is amplified. The good thing, the Ministry of Agriculture already have a strategy. They have uh, proper documents to guide the areas about that. And the county also is very alert to the issues of climate smart agriculture. I thank you for your kind attention.